Say before you three veterans of that decade. Uh, my name is Peter Sanderson. I'm a comics historian. I've written a lot of books about Marvel and its history. And over the um, over the last year, I've been doing some podcasts for Marvel about the different decades of Marvel history. And each decade has importance. And has major achievements, it has a personality of its own. But first I'm going to introduce the folks to my left and right. On my right is Anne Vicente, who was who came to Marvel in the 80s and was Louise Simon's assistant on editing the X-Men and then took over the X-Men herself, not to mention. Peter was my secret weapon. Because I knew everything. Yes. <laughs> and she was also editing New Mutants when it started, and Star Wars books, among others. And we hey, got it wrong. Yeah. I tried to. Wrong rule. But beyond that, she went on to this career as a writer. And she uh, co created with Bob Adams, who's also here at the con, the mini series Long Shot. How many, and it's how many years? 30th anniversary of Long Shot. <laughs> and I hold it what? And then she had and then she had the distinct honor of Paul. Following the footsteps of Frank Miller on Daredevil for a long run with John Anita Jr. as artist. Stinky? What? what you say? <laughs> oh, I said the distinguished. Oh, the distinct honor. I miss her. That's right. Stinky honor? <laughs> and, but speaking of stinky honor. Thank you. Thank you again. On my left That's correct. is Jim Salaprop, who is best known now, yeah. perhaps. Oh, now, now, much better. Now you're a cricket. As the editor of the Paper Cups line of comics, well, but, back, now. but that's now. We're all back too that, old for that. But back then, no, you're never too old for the oh, no, uh, <laughs> But now, but back then, he was known as editor of Spider-Man books. Employees <laughs> <laughs> is the editor of Marvel Age, the oh, in-house yeah. promotional magazine. That's of true. Very true. And as for me in the '80s. Let's say I was. Weren't you a character in the Sandman? <laughs> I am. That's a, that is a different company. Well, it's yes, true. But yes, I am. Lucian. Actually, that is it's a sort of complicated matter that Paul Levitz created Lucian, uh, I guess in the 70s, but when Neil Gaiman took over the book, he told people that he was writing Lucian to sound like me. There you go. But uh, that's just one of the characters that's been based on me in comics over the